Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together as usual. Uh, before we start, I see some comment about baptism and I advise people not to take their answers from average people. There is always a way to study and to research and find out. The one who says to you that baptism is not biblical is not telling you the truth. And the other one who says to you that verses in the Bible are manipulated by the scribe, that is not true too. And those who says to you that those verses about baptism, they've been added later, that is even more silly. And even if there is uh, some they claim, uh, they did not find the manuscript which support that. Uh, what if we find the manuscript support that tomorrow? Simply what the Christians used to do, they copy a new manuscript from the older manuscript and they don't need to keep the older one simply because it's damaged. That's why they are copying. Always the new copy is to replace an old copy. Books don't live forever, especially with the cheap material. In the first 300 years of Christianity, Christians were very poor. The first time the Christian they have a book which is considered as a high quality material is after the king of Rome become a Christian. So don't fool yourself with the, with the foolish ones who say stupid and silly things for you. Same time, we have a very solid story in the Bible about Jesus himself being baptized. Unless you are better than Jesus. If Jesus himself got baptism, who are you to say we do not need to be baptized? Now, our topic today is not about this, but I just saw those comments. Use your logic and use your uh, brain. God gave you a brain like everybody. And don't let people think for you. People can help you. But sometimes people can deceive you too. I wanna, uh, what I want to say today, that based in what I saw in the internet, and especially, you know, I made this uh, short video uh, yesterday, uh, challenging the Muslim Abdul who speak Arabic. All of them, not only one. But remember, there's a person he called me two days ago, and he said to me, "Why you don't debate uh, this guy? Like, do you like to debate him?" I said, "Sure, anyone, you know, just bring them." So I said, "Let me invite him." And then now there's no answer, and they would they would never dare to answer. But because I saw how trashy their comment is, and how much they are aggressive, I, I, you know, I know, like when you deal with those uh, uh, Arab-speaking Muslims, they they go so low, because this is the true Islam. It's so low. When you deal with people who didn't, they are not really, they did not live in our, 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 like Arabic community, even the trashy ones, they have a better standard of the way they speak. But what, the second you speak in Arabic, they go so low. So I said to myself, you know what? The Middle Eastern Christians, generally, regardless if they are Arab or not, they are very kind, you know? Very, very kind. Like even when they debunk Islam, they are, you know, they they speak about Muhammad uh, carefully, and there is a reason for that. You know, uh, I'm not going to discuss that reason, but I don't do that. It's time to deal with those people in the medicine they deserve. You see, those people, when you speak to them with respect, they think you are weak. When they insult you and you don't answer back, they think you have no answer. When they lie about you and you don't get them busted, Muslims will think, okay, the lie must be true. It's not a lie. Look at them. And what the Muhammadan they do is the same as somebody claiming to be a champion in boxing. So what he do? He never been really in a real fight. He bring a kid who know nothing and let us debate with this guy. And you know, when you debate with someone is an idiot, he do not know anything about his religion except by name he is a Christian. Uh, the Muslim will look like a hero. So we said, okay, you know what? Let us see the, I don't wanna, I don't wanna argue with the little ones. So I decide to start an Arabic program for those who speak Arabic. Now, don't leave a comment for me later 
because I'm going to start a ramble. Don't tell me I wish I speak Arabic and those things, please. You know, this is not for you. It's for Arabic. I'm not going to translate. No translation. There, when I'm doing an Arabic broadcast, no translation. So don't tell me like a Christian prince would like to answer. I mean, I, we made a billion video for you in English. So let us give some time for those who speak Arabic. So don't expect translation. I have the link below in Rumble, and this the, I, I decide to choose Rumble because I know if I start speaking Arabic in YouTube, the video will not stay there for 15 minutes. Those cowards, I, I know them, you know, I know them. They will go crazy. And we know YouTube. YouTube never just and never fair youtube actually is nothing but in something in the pocket of the muhammadan youtube support only two kind of belief atheist and atheist can like can involve everybody you know any any atheist you know atheist uh, uh, homosexual lgbt you name it put them on one side and then in the other side if you are a muslim if you are a Muslim and you make a threat, death threat, still YouTube will not take your video down. Oh, we have, you know, many proof of that. If you are a Christian and you say something negative about Islam, they will not allow you to have donation. And they can take your video, if not your channel, easy. In fact, I have only 114,000 or 15,000 because they keep deleting my channel. Otherwise, I should have millions by now. Millions, not a million. So I said to myself, let us do it in Rumble. And then the Christians, if they wish, they can download from there and they can post it around. So tomorrow, I will go live in Rumble. And the link is in the info of this video. You can click in it. And if you speak Arabic, please invite your friends. لِمَنْ يَتَكَلَّمُونَ الْعَرَبِيَّةِ سَوْفَ نَبْدَأْ بِبَثٍ جديد. باللغة العربية فقط والرابط تجدونه في التعليمات عن الفيديو أسفل الشاشة فإن كنت مهتما ادعو رفاقك أهلك أصحابك والمسلمين وسوف نريهم ما لم يروا وسوف نعلمهم ما لم يعلموا وسوف نلقنهم ما لم يلقمهم محمد ادعو كل الأصحاب من كل الأعمار وسوف نعلمكم كيف تردون على هؤلاءك الصعاليك صعاليك محمد ولهذا برنامجي سميته الرد على صعاليك محمد وما أدراك ما الصعاليك قسم منهم أتوا مع العثمانيين وقسم أتوا مع المماليك والباقي ما بين يديك وسوف نرى إن كان هناك شيوخا أم هناك شروخا هل هم فعلا شيوخ للمسلمين أم شروخ أنا برأيي ليس هناك شيوخ هناك شروخ وهناك شرخ كبير في جبهة الإسلام ولن يستطيع المسلمين أن يغطوا هذا الشرخ ذات الساعة وانشق القمر هذا شرخ من امرؤ القيس محمد المشروخ سرقه ولم ينشق القمر بل انشقت جبهة محمد فأدعو كل المتكلمين بالعربية أن يخبروا رفاقهم وأهلا وسهلا بكم ولا, تتك... يعني ولا... ولا تعتقدوا أبدا بأنني سوف أرحم لا رحمة مع الشيطان من يعجبه كلامي يعجبه 
ولم من يعجبه فليشرب البحر. Alright guys, we go back to English. I just deliver a message to those who speak Arabic. Uh, actually, I still have ear infection, so I'm not going to stay long with you. And I hope by tomorrow, I hope, you never know. You know I mean, sometime. I don't get sick really. I mean, I don't remember when last time I get sick. But I think what happened, I worked so hard outside. And then I went to a very cold room and I took, uh, I took a shower. So I think maybe there's some water in my ear or something that causes infection. Uh, so I hope by tomorrow we will be fine. And I choose it tomorrow actually because tomorrow is a Friday. And this is like a special day in the Middle East. So maybe we can get some, you know, Muslims. And by the way, uh, if there is a Muslim want to call us in Arabic and he is nice, we will, we will be nicer to him. إن اتصل بنا مسلم وهو محترم سنحترمه بمثل ما تصرف فإن كان المسلم المتصل محترم سوف نكون له كل الاحترام وإن كان شوارعيا If he is a Muslim, who the one who called me, because we in Arabic we will take calls, and actually I encourage Muslims to call me. Nado kull al mutakallimin bil lugha Arabiya min al Muslimin. An yatasiru shiyukhan kibaran sagaran bilhiya bidun lhiya bitarbush bidun yatarbush bihabaya bidun yabaya biakaz bidun yakaz la yuhim. Fa kullukum indana sawa sigar. لا يمكن لإنسان مثقف متعلم ذكي أن يؤمن بأن الشمس تغرب في عين حمية وأن هناك جبل من, الجل من الجليد يكسر منه الله حجارة وهي البرد ويرميها علينا والرعد ليس بملاك وقد ضحكوا علي ضحكوا عليكم وقالوا قال قال الله وقال الرسول وقال بيع الفول. So any Arab would like to call us from those who they are Muslims, big scholar, beard, no beard, whatever you are, try your best. And we invite specifically, we would like to see the best of them with the long beard. Let us see if they can do it. I have a question about my Muslim get circumcised. I am a Christian, but I am having difficult time finding answer. Circumcision is from the Bible, but it's not necessarily for someone who is not from the Jews, which means if you read the Old Testament, we will find that this is a command was given to the children of Abraham, <clears throat> it is for the children of Abraham. However, the Bible confirm uh, that it's not necessarily for those who they are not from the children of Israel. However, you can do it. It's healthy, it's good. No problem. All right? But this is not what makes you a believer. <clears throat> uh, All right, you know we as a Christians we don't we don't uh, we are not silly like the Muslims. Muhammad himself never get circumcised, and they think that they are following Moses. They broke all the Ten Commandment, and they said to you we do circumcise. Muhammad he saw the Jews circumcise. He said you circumcise, but he himself never did. And if a Muslim will say to me, well who is going to circumcise him? Well isn't it Abraham? He used the ads to cut his penis. Do it yourself. Are you scared? Uh, in Judaism is a blood covenant to Abraham, but if Muslim deny that covenant, why would they get it? 
Well, Muhammad, he is just copying. It's not he is getting it. He is just copying. Muhammad, when he lived between the Jews, he tried his best to look like a Jew. Don't you see that the Muslim, when they do Hajj, they wear a hat like the Jews. It's a little bigger. Hmm? In their head. Where this is coming from? This is not from the Arab. It's from the Jews. They start copying everything. And then when the Jews start making fun of Muhammad, Muhammad, he said, Khalifuhum, which means act differently. So Muhammad, he start immediately changing the way even he pray because he used, you know, he, he was, cop you know, copying them. He copy how they pray. He copy how they eat. He copy how they sneeze. How they copy how they tease. He copy how even to make ch uh, chapters and verses in the Torah. He start copying. The Muslim, those are, you know, those are, Muhammad himself, according to Muslim, do not know how to read, how to, to write. Here example in front of you, very clear. A Jewish man, Rabbi, he was walking by and he saw Muhammad praying in a funeral. So he just said to Muhammad, this is how we do it. What Muhammad did, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. So Muhammad, when he noticed the Jews are telling him because he knew he was a thief, you know, he felt guilty in charge. He, 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 like, he felt like he got red-handed. So what he did, he did change the way he prayed in the funeral immediately. But if this is from God, you cannot change it like that. Who cares if somebody says to me, this is how we do it? So if Muhammad doing pupu, sitting down, and somebody walk by and says to him, this is how we do it, Muhammad, oh, 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 let us stand, let us do pupu standing. What's wrong with you? And this is telling you that Muhammad is making up a prayer. He don't have a prayer from his God. Otherwise, you don't change what God, you know, either Muhammad was praying as God told him to pray in the funeral, or he was fabricating a prayer, so we can change it in a second. Sit down, sit down, act differently. So what if a Jew, he says that to you, says, okay, good. This is how God told me to pray. Wonderful. But this is telling you that Muhammad is a fraud. You don't change it. Even if the whole world praying like you, well, that's mean they are doing it the right way. But now, that's mean you are the wrong way. And based on what happened here, Muhammad, he corrected the prayer. Because what is the difference between before and after? One different, act differently. Uh, <laughs> so everything Muhammad he do is based on what? Based on, like, you know, he saw the Jews, like uh, the fasting of Hashura. You know, past of Ashura, Muhammad, he arrived to the city of Yathrib. This is Medina. You see, the Muslims, they hijack your city, they kill you, and then they change the name of the city. So Muhammad, he arrived to, uh, to Medina. He saw the Jews fasting. So he asked them, what is this? What do you do? Why you are you fasting? The Jews, they say to him, well, you know what? This is when uh, our prophet Moses and the people, they crossed the sea, ran away from the Pharaoh. In the middle of nowhere, Muhammad he says, okay, you know what? We are more, than, more close to Moses than you. Oops, he hijacked Musa. Musa now, he is a Muslim. And then he commanded his people to fast that day the same as the Jews. But Allah did not tell him. And this is confirmed in the Hadith. If Muhammad is a prophet, shouldn't his God tell him which day to fast, which day not to fast? Why you are fasting? Just because the Jew they fasted? I thought the Jews are liars. I thought the Jews are corrupting books. I thought the Jews are fabricating religion. 
So what is your guarantee now? This is not a fabricated fasting. You take it blindly. And not only that. Muhammad, after that, he start making up stories about this fasting. That if you fast this day, is going to erase your sin for the year to come and the year to pass. What the heck? All of this for fasting a day? We just learned about it from the Jews, as you see. Ibn Abbas said that Allah Messenger came to Medina and found the Jews observing the fast of the day of Ashura, as they call it. So he asked them, as you see here, Muhammad is a potato. He do not even know what is that day. You see the knowledgeable Muhammad? Hmm? الديانات السمي السماوية أتت من أفكار الحضارات ما بين النهرين نعم نعم يا عزيزي وأنا أوافقك فإن الديانات أتت من أديسون فقد كان أديسون يعيش بين الفرات والنيل في مرة من المرات وقعت حبة تمر على رأسه فاستيقظ أديسون وقال ما هذا؟ لماذا أصبح ما اسمي نيوتن فتغير اسمه وقفز فوق النهر من القار We have an atheist he is giving us a speech now so I gave him an answer in Arabic potato anyway so Ibn Abbas excuse me when I speak in Arabic you know the, one of the funny things about the Muhammadan you will see there's tons of Muslims videos, especially the Indonesian. Christian brands don't speak in Arabic. But what the heck? What is my language then? You know, Christian brands don't know English. Like the guy who called me two days ago, he want to examine my, my Arabic. He want to ask me, can you read those verses for me? But he himself did not know Arabic. I mean, look at this. And the stupid Mimi Hijab, when I called him, he asked me to read the verse and he just played my voice Play, reading the voice. I said, you stupid. You just played my voice reading the voice. Why are you asking me to read it? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. So anyway, as you see, Muhammad, he just met the Jews. He never heard of this before. Suddenly, yeah, yeah, he, he hijacked Musa. He hijacked the Jewish religion. He hijacked the fasting. Muhammad looking for anything fasting. Hey, guys, we need fasting. You want fasting? They have fasting. We should have fasting. Okay, take this fasting. And then suddenly that this day, and look, we are more close to Musa than you. Who? I mean, those are the Jews. Those are the Jews. And you have a closer connection to Musa than them. Why? What happened? I mean, the guy, he just entered the yard. Imagine somebody enter your town. The first thing he did the first day, he hijacked your prophet. Ah, he's more close to us. Just get lost. Okay. Musa is, a, is belong to us. Put Musa in the basket. Hmm? Okay. You know what? And add this fasting to your religion. And not only that, he start adding stuff about this fasting will erase sin. This fasting can do a lot of his stuff. And like, what the heck is that? You know? Yeah. Well, what you can say, I mean, if, you're, if your prophet is a thief, accused of a sin underwear, so he will not steal a religion of somebody else. Uh, again, we need to remind people, please, that tomorrow, tomorrow, I will be live on Rumble. I know Rumble is not too much practical like YouTube, but because I know that my Arabic videos will not live long in YouTube. So I decided to go and rumble. This way they will stay there. And Christians can download them and share them with their friends, children. And we will, we will do the butcher work. We will have no mercy with those liars. I promise you. And if those Arab Christians who they are going to listen, if they are soft kind they don't like to hear no sugar coating 
don't join me. Never. I have no time for you. I have no time for hypocrites. Christians is those who say things as it is, not as YouTube on it. In fact, a person who don't say what he believe, he don't believe. That's it. If you don't dare to say what you believe, then you don't believe. Like how many people dare to say that homosexuality is sin? They don't dare. Uh, they would delete my channel. It is sin. You like it, you don't like it. We follow our book. This is a holy book, not holy YouTube. Not holy filthy Biden scumbag. Sin is sin. You say it as it is. Who like it, like it, who don't let him drink from the ocean. So we are in a time where nobody dare to say the truth and the truth need, the truth always need courage. You know, when, when the, the Christians, our church fathers, they used to be thrown to the cats and lions and tigers to eat them alive. How brave they are. It's amazing, isn't it? Today, people are afraid. Uh, uh, we cannot say a word. They will delete my channel. Uh, YouTube will give me a strike. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we are here. We lose one channel. We make a second channel. Who care? You know, I, I have a hundred something thousand there. I have hundred thousand there. I will start the channel from zero. Who care? Ah, and then they delete it, and we will make a new one. And what you can do about it? We will always we will say the truth. The truth will set you free. It's not the hypocrite. Is not the politically correct. In fact, what is destroying society today, all over the West and the world, that everybody is politically correct. Nobody to say they are to say the truth. They don't dare to say who is committing crimes just because of a color or ethnic. Otherwise, they will label you. They will say, "Oh, he's racist." You cannot, you cannot even describe the one who commit the crime how he look like. No, you cannot. You cannot say the word Arab. You cannot say the word black. You cannot say you cannot say the word white. It's okay. You can you cannot say uh, Jew. You cannot say Muslims. So what we can say? In the same time, they can say all those words, they. You know, as an example, you will see somebody from the liberals in the state. They say, your language is full of hate. And then you will see the same people making fun of our Bible. <laughs> okay, so if we make fun of your stupidity, we are full of hate. But you make fun of our Bible, that is not hate. Mm. That's love. Well, I will love you in the same way then. Right? So, you know, we are done with those, uh, you know, with this garbage. And we will not allow them to compromise our faith. Because if we compromise with them, we don't have faith. And this is what they want exactly. So slowly, slowly, Christians, they keep compromising, compromising. And now many ideas, which is disgusting, are accepted by many stupid who call themselves Christians. Very simple. You know, somebody's saying, are you drunk? But my friend, uh, you remind me of uh, the wine in the heaven, which if you drink, you will not be drunk. And I don't know, know how your stupid God call it wine if it's not alcohol I mean your God is so stupid to the point he think that there is alcohol will not make you drunk hmm uh, so what your God he did and suppose he's insulting me princes yeah yeah okay I will answer you about princes the follower of a prophet who wore, wore a skirt and he put eyeliner three times a day 
and the same time he pissed like a woman, and men kiss his down his belly and he rub his chest with naked man. Anyway, anyway, just let it go. And may he what he you know what he never received Quran until he wear his wife Aisha clothing. I don't know how those even fit on him. So listen carefully. Allah brother he will give the Muslims a river of wine. Every Muslim, every Muslim under his house, there is a river of wine. <laughs> drinking the whole day, drinking and effing, drinking and effing. I don't know how you can do both at the same time. Maybe Allah will provide you with an elephant nose. Eh, like you keep sucking. Like one, one nose is in the female and the other nose is long, is going in the river. Okay. But this river of Radar will not make you drunk. Mm. Now the Abdul asking me if I am a drunk. He did not ask his prophet how in the world he found the sun sitting in murky water. Maybe he was drunk or taking hashish. Hmm? Or how Allah is the only one who knows what is inside the womb and what is going to rain tomorrow. Let me check the weather news. And let us go and do scanning for the stomach of your wife. Because Muslims, they eat their kids, supposedly. They don't believe that the kid is in the womb. So it's in the stomach. Muhammad sometimes he used the word button. Yeah, fi button. So Allah only he knows what is in the womb. So now what those machines, what we will do with them? Do is drunk. Do Allah knew the future that those things will be very easy to know. Hmm. Look at the challenge. <clears throat> I don't want to stay long reading my 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 ear is hurting. All right. Who is the one who knows what is in the womb? Allah. Allah, you know. And Allah even <coughs> he knew uh, what is inside the, the womb uh, of, of the goat? <clears throat> yeah, I have like two, two kilograms of negative seed. They are not working at all. So brother, Allah is the one who knows what is in the womb. Only Allah. So if you have a doctor or a nurse, or any clinic, clinic, that's Allah. Is that correct, Muslims? Hmm. Let us see. I see here is a question a Muslim asking uh, in Arabic. How come the Quran says that Allah only knows the <laughs> what is in the womb? Uh, the answer is the Quran is not saying that. The Quran is saying Allah knows the timing. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> My throat is hurting. I don't think I will stay long. All right. Let us see if we can translate this page. There's many verses actually. <coughs> Allah knows what every female will have in her womb, what she will give birth to. He knows, you know. Hmm. Chapter 13, verse number 8. Uh, uh, chapter 3, verse 134. Indeed, Allah has the knowledge of the hour and when the rain will come down, and he knows what is in the womb. Hmm. Is that true? 
is that from the specification of Allah? <laughs> I can make, make better than one this one even I can uh, uh, can I can I can say Allah قل هو الله الغنم كلما ماء قالوا نعم وحتى لو كان صوت حمار قالوا إنه رب الغنم وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آل محمد you know, once I called an Islamic TV station, uh, I wish at that time I had programmed to record. It was hilarious. So those Abdul, they do not know I'm a Christian prince or I'm Christian. So I called and I said, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I said, Zidu assalam ala rasul. Salla Allahumma salli wa sallam ala sallam. Zidu salat ala nabi ya akhi. Allahumma salli wa sallam. So I'm asking them, Pray more, please, on the Prophet. And they keep repeating, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sallim. And I say to them in Arabic, Zidu wa zidu salata ya akhi ala rasul. Allahumma salli wa sallim. Not even one of them dare to say to me, what's wrong with you, man? What is the topic? Why are you are calling? I keep asking them, pray more in the Prophet. And they keep repeating. They keep praying. They don't dare. I mean, it's obvious, you know, I'm, I'm making fun of them. They don't dare to say to me, shut up. What is you? Why you are calling? Are you going to spend the whole day saying to us, Salli ala nabi? And I was trying to control the people with me in the room because they start laughing. I don't want them to laugh because they would hear it. And you know, Zidu salat ala nabi. Allahumma salli wa sallam wa sallam. Ya akhi, Zidu salat wa akthiru salat ala nabi. Fa fiha, 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 fiha fadila. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabi. Nobody there, nobody to say that, come on, man. And then I have to hang up because the people behind me, they start dying, laughing, the voice is coming. So I said, oh, God. so I hang up. Otherwise, if I stay the whole day saying the same to them, to them, nobody will ask me, what, what are you calling for? Imagine you call the emergency room in the Middle East. The guy says, Assalamu alaikum. And say to him, Salli ala nabi. Allahumma salli wa salli wa salli. Zida salli ala nabi. Allahumma salli wa salli. I mean, what, the, this emergency room. There's nothing emergency in Islam as much as washing your private part. And they have serious questions. You should, you should see the program, actually. The program was really funny. I remember once, one of the most funny ones I saw, a Muslim woman, obviously, she is just making fun of them. She called and she's speaking like a very, with very feminine voice. You know, like, <clears throat> you know, I'm not to, to make it. You need, a, you need really that to do it. So she said, uh, you know, brother, I am very beautiful woman. And when I take off my clothing, the fish, they start shaking. As my sister, she told me the shaker drunk water. The second one, it, you know, <clears throat> sister, 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 <clears throat> what's going on? Well, Billah, that those fish, they have a genie and they are looking at your beautiful body. You better sister change your clothes in the other room. And guys. The fish in the aquarium, they are masturbating when she take off her clothing, you know? And this girl, she said, oh, really? Really? I, my sister noticed that. She said, sister, I advise you. Uh, but she said, this is the only room we have. Where do we go? I said, okay, cover it with the blanket. Muharram, haram. Adai haram, ya ukhti, adai haram. Ghatti, ghatti hadha samak, hadha samak, wa sharir fihi jinni. Wa hawa yanhuru ila jasadiki tahir. He is looking at your pure body. Don't let the genie look at you. And you know the, the fish, the second she take off her clothes, the fish they start, you know, masturbating. They are jerking. I mean, they go so crazy, like, you know. And when she put her clothes, they cool down, like they say, finally, you know. I mean, this is how stupid this religion is. The second you ask a serious question, they hang up on you. As long as you are asking question about eating ice cream, Brother, I ate ice cream with my fiance. Is she still lawful for me? <laughs> what? He ate ice cream with his fiance. 
and now he thinks she become his sister because those Muslims they have a very weird stupid religion it says if you drink from the same milk you became brothers and sisters there we go I mean I don't know if you are a Hindu you will be proud the mother cow drinking from the same milk make her my sister really mm. anyway so anyway how many are here how many here speak Arabic come come added al-mutakallimina bil-lugha al-arabiya anta asbahta mashhuran anta surta mashhuran fi israel أخي العزيز أنا مشهور في إسرائيل هناك صحيفة إسرائيلية guys many many years ago I don't know if many of you remember I made a video it's called the beauty of Hamas and the ugliness of Israel now the title is deceiving isn't it but the inside is the opposite I went to sleep I woke up in the morning I have like six hundred thousand views in one day just in one day the Abdul the Abdul they thought this is a video against Israel at that time there was like you know war and etc being between uh, the terrorists and Israel so they start posting my video nobody is even watching as usual they don't read the books you know they read the book the, if you if you make a book says the Prophet of Allah was the most amazing even if it says all garbage about him inside they don't they buy it you know that uh, so they start posting the video everywhere and then actually there is some newspaper from Israel they contacted me and they offer me to write in their newspaper I said to them one question do you say bad things about Jesus in your newspaper? They say to us, Israel is a country of a freedom. People, they can say whatever they want. I say, well, I cannot write in a newspaper. Maybe we'll post something negative about Jesus. Sorry. I will do what I do best. So anyway, actually, I don't know if this video still exists because they deleted my channel after that. You know, the Muslims, they start flagging me the opposite direction, you know. And then uh, I receive a message from YouTube saying you cannot use Google product in this with this account no more. The only thing was active is the email. Uh, let us see. Hold on. Let me search for the video, the beauty of Hamas. And you know, at that time I have like you know, the internet was so bad. I mean, everything really, I mean, very, very hard to do anything. Uh, ugliness of Israel. You, you might find the video under and, and a different name because people, they copy it. Ah, here we go. I found one. I found one. This is, I think, part number two. This is part number two. So I made two videos. Number one, number two. Both of them, they went really viral. The beauty of Hamas here and the ugliness of Israel. This is 14 years ago, but this is not the date I posted the video. The video I posted is before. This is the one who copied it. He copied it 14 years ago. Um, I don't know if we can find the other video, but maybe. You never know. You know. Yeah, I got them busted with no mercy. With no mercy. And that would make the Mohammedan go crazy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so tomorrow we will be in Ramble. Guys, did you find the account in Ramble? It's underneath. I don't go in Ramble much. You know, even though in Ramble we can collect donation. But still, I prefer YouTube uh, because it's more practical. But uh, Rumble uh, is more, let us say, secure and there is more freedom, supposedly, uh, to keep your videos alive.
let me open a ramble. So this is the link around but let us see how many of you will subscribe and by the way there i go in english too i mean my program can be in english can be in arabic the arabic thing is just a new thing all right so this is the link around but if you like to subscribe we will go there from time to time and you will see the account there is called arabian profit i have a very little number there 1000.18 something because simply I don't, uh, I, I just started actually, just uh, two weeks ago, you know, using it. Uh, so uh, you join us, you know, there, tell your friends. Uh, you can, and I heard that some people in, in Europe, they cannot log in. Okay, okay, I mean, still you can watch us if you cannot log in. But I think if you have a proxy, you can. Uh, you can get in easy, you know. Yeah. Uh, why there is no donation made in your live stream? Because YouTube don't allow it. We don't follow the guideline of YouTube. It's okay, no problem. No problem. There's donation, there's no donation, we will be here. هل إمكانك إيجاد خطأ عربي في هذه الآية؟ قالوا إن هذاني هذاني لساحراني. <تصفيق> It's obvious. <تصفيق> هذاني. Okay. Yeah. Well, Muhammad he is just very good in Arabic, by the way. But anyway, the Muslim they will break any Arabic and they will say, uh, like even like in Arabic uh, when they make poetry they say to لضرورة اللحم ولضرورة الشعر. As an example, when the Muslim they say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in Arabic language there is nothing called Bism. Bism is not exist. There is Bism, Bism. So they took the alif, which means the one letter is taken off from the word, just to make it easier to pronounce. They they bend anything to make it fit with the Quran. And not only that, they say to you even the Quran. Uh, 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 you know, uh, the Quran is the source of a grammar. The Quran, they say to you, as if, as if the Quran has exist before the Arabic languages exist. Have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? A book came long after the Arabs speak in Arabic, and this is the source of a grammar. You know, grammar. Um, anyway, did you guys join us there? Tell your friends if you speak Arabic specifically, tomorrow is going to be in Arabic. Everybody is welcome to join. You know, you can come to support us as numbers and you can chat, no problem. But I will not translate tomorrow. I will just speak in Arabic. You know, like we have like, I don't know, maybe a million videos already made in English. So it let us give some time to the Arab Christians. So their young ones, especially, they will not be fooled by the Abdul. يا معايير عالية طبعا طبعا Is there is any question Do we have any Abdul one would like to call me for like you know just to say hello for today let me let me open a Skype but I'm not going to stay long I mean already I'm here for how long as you know I have ear infection I thought it was going to get better but it's nothing actually, I don't know. I mean, this weird ear infection. It's not, it's not like very bad, but it's not good too. Let us see if there is anybody in Skype. A Muslim saying to me, you cannot debate me. That's deep. Hmm. When a Muslim, he says that, that means he is a big poo, poo Let us call this guy. Guys, I got somebody I cannot debate him, but I don't know if he he is online. Doesn't doesn't look like he is online. Let us find a different one. We have Mr. Kareem, Mr. Kareem, trying to call us. Okay, if you ever so, I will sure slap you through the way you talk. 
not even informative. Kareem, he wanna slap me, guys. Kareem, I will call you Kareem, hold on, because I wanna see how you can do that. Listen, listen. If I ever saw you, I would for sure slap you up. So, the way you talk, not even informative. You lie, and I will personally debunk you in person. Okay, Kareem, let us call you. We got a, we got a fish. <clears throat> Karim will debunk me. Hello, Karim. Subscribe. Hey, they're the same kid. I mean, what's wrong with you? Man, listen, why you keep lying about the prophet, man? Okay, you, you see, you. you see, listen, listen. Last time you called me and you, you grabbed for me a hadith from Sahih al Bukhari. Do you remember? About? He forgot? About, yeah, about, about, about some of the Jews. Some of the Jews. Uh -huh. Jews, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. On what you said to me about the some of the Jews and that hadith? What did I say about some of the Jews? Mm -hmm. I said that uh, it says only some of the Jews, Jews will go to hell, right? Some. Uh, because some of them, some of them, they worship only, correct? Yeah, you contradict yourself. Okay, you stupid, you stupid, you stupid idiot. If you go, if you go in the hadith, if you go in the hadith, just to show you how stupid. I'm no, going. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to give you a chance to read it again, so you can see how stupid you are. Uh, you see, I lose my patient hang up on you. Yes, I will give you a chance. So, give in there, chance. in there, you idiot. It says yes. In in there, in there, you no. idiot. In your idiot, it no. says it says there. No. Listen, listen. No. You see, I I will no. take you as a kid. This is why I will not take you serious. You are just a kid, no problem. But you know, no, okay, we will kid. see. We will see. You are, no, I I will I'm not. You are I'm serious, serious, but I cannot take you serious because you are a kid. If you read the hadith, we know how to read. You will see. Mm -hmm that those are the leftover from the Jews because this is in the judgment day. All become Muslims, but those the Christians, the leftover of the Christians and the leftover of the Jews. This is what the Hadith is saying. According to you, there is some of them will come. Read it and you are stupid. <laughs> you, you want me to open it again? I'll open it. Yeah, you have it open. You, you forgot you did not read. You, you did not read. You did not read. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just seeing how serious you're going to uh, take uh, No, take my, 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 my friend, my, my, my friend, my friend. It's in front of you. Are you going to run? Uh, run by, by hanging on you. You're a kid. I, I will be rain if I hang up. I'm a grown if I have, you are not a grown man. Here we go. You just gave me a hadith. You just gave me a hadith that those who stay, the leftover, you know, all the people will be convert to Islam. All the people will convert to Islam. All right, and those are the one who will see their Lord. Hmm? And everyone he will go where he belong. And then when it says about some, the one you are saying some, because everybody become a Muslim, nothing will be left from those who worship Allah. Huh? Nothing will be left. I'm, over, I'm opening. I'm opening. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Hmm. Now you came up with a new story. Last mm. time you didn't say this. Okay, read it. Okay. Mm. Hold on, show you, show you. True. Why are you laughing? Because just people will see how stupid you are in a second. Nobody's seeing anything. Okay, read it. Okay, hold on, I'm finding it. Yeah, read it. Okay. Uh, <coughs> okay. So, uh, and the idolaters will go with their idols and the companions of every god. Both species will go with their god till there remain those who used to worship Allah, both the obedient ones and the mischievous ones, and some of the people of the scripture. Hmm. Ah, then. Hold on, be hold on. Oh, before, before you continue, before you continue. So, yeah. okay. who will remain and remain where? No, it's saying, it's saying this. I, I realize your English... Everybody will go. I, I Everybody will go. Let every nation follow what they used to worship. So, the companions of the cross will go to their cross. Okay. And the adulterer... Listen. Every nation. And the adulterers... Okay, listen. nation. First of all, there's not nation. You are stupid. I mean, how we can... How we are one nation anyway. So, we'll go to their idols. And the companions of every... Uh, God, false deity, mm. will go to their God. Till exactly. they remain. Who is the one remain? Read with me. You, 
obedient and the mischievous ones. Ah, uh, so those are the remain. The, the others are, are taken away. That's it. Those are taken oh, away. Now, listen, yeah, listen, listen, listen. Oh. Everybody, everybody will go. Actually, the story here showing you how stupid Muhammad is because the story does not make sense mm -hmm. because either you are taking no, them to if, no, for, for sure it doesn't make sense because either you are taking them to hell. Okay, okay, let's just, you know, so here the story you are giving me, it says the opposite of what you claim. Mm -hmm. And when I asked you in the Quran, not I said, the when, when the Quran says, okay, let me ask you, is the Quran saying that all the Jews hate Muslims or some of the Jews? What chapter? You have to give. Me don't then tell me what chapter. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim. You are have knowledge. That's a, that's a gen, that's a general question. No, I you can tell me yes or no because you're a Muslim. Some of, some of, you know. Some of the Jews, some of the Jews accepted Islam. So okay, so the one who accepted Islam, they are Muslims. Not all the Jews. I'm talking about who they are staying Jews. What's are you see how stupid you are? The one who are Jews are not the one who accept Islam. The one who accept Islam is a Muslim. So I'm asking you now, according to the Quran, okay. that Allah He says that those who they are Jews, all of them they hate you. Yes or no? Uh, did he say all of them hate you? I don't know. Don't call me. You see, I have a hang up on you. You're just a kid. You can say anything you want. You ask well, just, just shut up, idiot. A kid, he can say anything he want. And the second you ask him a question, he said to you, I do not know. And then he come call you back. And he know, it's just, just a teenage. Even if you claim you are 50. And he do not know. And then you show him the verse. And then I, 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 I don't know. They cannot give an answer because simply this is the new tactic. Don't give a Christian prince an answer because he will use it against you later. If you go in the Quran and we type the word Yahud, you will see the Quran saying that all the Yahud is the same. And the only one who are not is the one who become Muslims. <laughs> Which means they are not Yahud. They are not Jews. And they are not Christians. This is the stupid Quran. Not my words. Chapter 2, verse 120, does it say some of the Christians and some of the Jews will not be pleased with you or all of them will not? Never will the Jews or the Christian be pleased with you. So you ask them, okay, does the Quran say all the Jews, all the Christians will not be pleased with you? No, it says that. They insert the word some to duct tape the stupid Muhammad. Hmm? All the Jews and all the Christians, because you cannot say, you see, if the Quran want to say some, the word some in Arabic is exist. Use it. The Quran actually used the word uh, some. Just add it. Say some of the Jews, some of the Christians. It doesn't say. It says the Jews and the Christians, all of them. In different verses, the Quran says that all the Jews, all the Jews, and all the Christians are not your friends, not some of the Jews. Oh, who you believer, take neither Jews or Christians as guardian. He did not say, take some, reject some. This is for all the Jews, and we can open the interpretation and all the Christians. So, you know, a dummy like you, uh, you're just a kid and because you're a kid you can say anything you know and you see this is why the muslim cleric they don't dare to call because a muslim cleric he cannot say what you say because simply he would lose his career but you are a kid eh, i don't know i did not say that uh the day before it he say his prophet he was wrong the day after he say i apologize i don't mean it <laughs> because you're a kid <laughs> yeah, let's see another abdul maybe it's the same person he have a different name <laughs> this guy is replacing replacing Fakira. <laughs> this person is not answering. Okay, he's not answering. If there is any Muhammad who would like to join us. This is the only kids you Muslims have. He can say anything. Open this interpretation. You will see it says Christians and Jews cannot be taken as a friends. All the Muslim cleric, all of them. You cannot. Why? Because simply are those are the enemy of Allah. Even the Quran says you cannot even take your own family as a friends. Your own 
parents and brothers and sisters. Why? Because simply the one who don't accept Islam is the enemy of Allah. Nothing more, nothing less. If you go here, <clears throat> chapter 58, verse number 22, you, Muhammad, will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah Messenger. Do you see it? Is that only for the Jews, only for the Christian? This is for everybody. You see how easy to prove what we say. Let us see. A Muslim. <clears throat> uh, just go, kid. Don't call me. I will. I will never talk to you again. That's it. I will never talk to you. I promise you. That's it. You're just a kid. Let your shake call me, and then you can join. You have no shake. You have no place here. Oh, Muhammad, you will not find any people. Do you guys, do you see the word any people? Any Muslim who believe in Allah and the last day, making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and the Messenger. Do the Christians and the Jews oppose Allah and the Messenger? The Quran confirmed that. The Quran confirm every, anyone actually don't accept Islam, he is opposing Allah. Because the Muslim will say to you, well, Islam is the final religion. If you don't accept the final religion, you are going to go to hell. And I say, yes, Islam is the final religion for the dummies. Those who want to believe that there is God, he will make your penis endless because you believe in him. That is a final religion because you cannot go lower than this. A human being cannot go lower than this. This is so low. You believe in a God, if you believe in him, he will give you an endless penis. How in the world you can believe in such a God? And if you believe in this God, Allah will make you F women non-stop, your orgasm 70 years. So you have to be so low and so stupid, low in morality, low in ethic, Law even in desire, because this is the stupid. I mean, what kind of heaven? You can't even take a break. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm, I'm beffing. Can you take a break? I cannot, I cannot, I can't stop. Like, take a break, man, you might die. So don't worry about that, I'm not gonna die because I'm in heaven right now. I cannot stop, I cannot stop. Sorry, Allah, he made me this way. Now I have to do that. My orgasm is 70 years. You come back to Zakar Naik, you knock at the door. Zakar Naik, assalamu alaikum, Christian Prince, I'm with thee. I'm doing boom boom. What's wrong with you? You, you? Even you, you can't do boom boom. Let me look at you. You don't even have bones. You can't take boom boom. I mean, the guy, he have no shoulder. He have no meat. He have no muscles. He have nothing. Even his beard is not growing. And he will do 70 years orgasm. Just the orgasm alone. I mean, Zakarnaik of 70 years orgasm, not only he will have, what is going to stay inside Zakarnaik? How much sperm you will have inside you? They will say to you, there's no semen in heaven. So what kind of orgasm? There's no semen. Are you going to shoot air? Even if you are going to shoot air, you will go flat. 70 years orgasm. Oh boy. Yeah, it's, it's a very sexual religion. Everything about it is sex. Anyway, guys, for those who came new, be informed. Tomorrow we will be live in Rumble, but not in English. Rumble, that account, sometime we go in English, sometime we go, we will go now in Arabic. So tomorrow is going to be Arabic only. So if you have Arab friends or you like to join us in chat, no problem, you know, to support the, the number, you can do that. So tomorrow the link is down in the info. You know how to click it, the info, right? If you do not know, uh, let me check the Quran because the Quran is the only technical book in the world. I mean, when you watch a Muslim video teaching what Muhammad he did, he taught us even how to wipe our asses. I mean, can you believe? Somebody standing in the mosque teaching the crowd 
saying to them, who are you? Who are you? You are nothing without Islam. Islam teach you how to do poo, poo Islam teach you how to wipe your ass. I can play the video for you. Islam taught us how to wipe our ass. How? The Prophet used to use the three rocks. Try it. Let us see how many wounds and how many infection you will get immediately. Rocks. And why three? Do you think are going to clean to be cleaned by three? Are you sure clean, three rocks will clean your bum or still you will have a lot of leftover hummus there? Three rocks can clean your ass? And the Muslim, they are sitting like, wow. The brother, the prophet, he taught us how to clean our ass, how, how to wipe it too. So what, what the Arab used to do before? Mm -hmm. The grand, 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 grandfather of Muhammad, he used to have all poop all over him. My friend, even cats don't know how to do poop when they clean themselves. This guy, he have no religion. He's just making things up just to keep you busy. How to enter the bathroom, how to do poo, poo how, look, you shake your penis, okay? How many times? Three times. A prophet, why? Who is a Muslim can tell me why I have to shake my penis three times? Hmm? Why three times? I mean, everything in Islam is a three time. If you search, you know Al Khomeini, Al Khomeini, uh, the founder of the you know the terrorist uh, country government of Iran, not the Iranian, the government terrorist. I know Iranian. A lot of people they are nice, and a lot of them they are becoming Christians like like fire growing there. He said that Islam have a huge, like have an inflammation of library from the waist and down. He was talking about who? He was talking about the Muslim Sunni. Even Muhammad, he forbid the Muslims from using their right hand to touch their penis when they are pissing. Why? What difference is going to make? Oh brother, oh brother, if the shaitan, he touch your penis, because if you use the left, uh, the right hand, Allah is touching it. But if you use your left hand, this is shaitan, this is the hand of shaitan. Hmm? So you want shaitan to touch your penis? What's wrong with this religion? Let me find you the hadith, hold on, so you can laugh. No, not here. <clears throat> I don't know if we will find it here. And supposedly I will go video for a few minutes. Uh, oh, we could not find it. Why? Yeah, we found something. The messenger of Allah, these be upon police, be upon him. He said, you should not hold your penis with your right hand while urinating or wipe himself with his right hand uh, in pr privy and should not breathe into the vessel. W what? What? Uh, Muslims, what? What vessel? Stupid translation. What uh, what vessel? Doesn't make sense. There's a vessel. Ah, because the Muhammadan they used to have a dish. They piss in it and they put it under their bed. And this is why Muhammad's the room smell was so good. They don't even go out. They have a container. They keep it with them in the room. 
But who is a Muslim can tell us why we cannot hold our penis with the right hand? What will happen exactly? Hmm? Hmm. And the funny is, the right hand is where the Muslims, they use to eat with it. So we have to hold it with the left hand now? This is the hand of shaitan. Any Muslim? The hand of shaitan touching your penis. No boy, not the hand of Allah. The left hand, brother. Why you do that to your penis? Hmm? Who a Muslim believe in such a thing that really this is really important which hand you use it? What if the person don't have a left hand? He should use maybe his wife hand. Hmm. I see, I see. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Let me see if I can find the hadith about Muhammad using rocks. And Muhammad always, you know, have they really have a, a special logic. Uh, so, as an example, according to Muhammad, uh, the reason a Muslim should not use bones to clean their bum, like you know, dead bones, you know, like of the animals, dry ones, because they are the food of the genie. Must be true. How the prophet knew this? Hmm? Oh, where is the hadith? I'm trying to find it. Here we go. Muhammad now is sitting and he is doing poo poo. Look at the beautiful details. I hope Muslims will will uh, will tell us how beautiful the scenery in you know, a scenery. Uh, so uh, Muhammad he want to do poo poo. Once he has in his company. Uh, he was in the company of the Prophet, carrying a water pot for his ablution, for cleaning, uh, of his private part. While I was following him and carrying, i.e. a pot, the Prophet says, Who is this? He said, I am Abu Huraira. The Prophet says, Bring me stones, so Muhammad doing poopoo, -poo, obviously. Bring me stones in order to clean my private parts. <laughs> and do not bring any bone or animal dung, dunk. Muslims they used to use dunk. Abu Huraira went narrating, so I brought some stone carrying them on the corner of the rope till I put them in his side when he's doing poo, poo and went away. And he finished. I walked to him and I asked, what about the bones and animal uh, dunk? He said, they are the food of the jinn. The genie they eat poo poo, brother. Those are invisible genie. The second the poo poo go inside their mouth, the poo poo become invisible too. And they even eat bones. Not only that, Allah make the bones covered by flesh. Look at this. And then uh, the delegate of the jinn of the city of Nasabin came to me and how nice those jinn were and I and, and asked me for the remains of the human food I invoke Allah for them that they would never pass by a bone or animal dung but find food on them so look at the miracle 
the genies who came from Nisabin, which means it's an area in the in the north of Syria, they came to Muhammad and they asked him, please, Prophet, can you give us food? We are hungry. The genie. He said, okay, hold on, hold on. He looked at Allah. Allah, please, Allah, I invoke you. Can you make all the bones in their way covered by meat? Brother Allah. And then, brother, even the animal donk, the animal do shit, Allah will cover it by meat. And since then, brother, all the animals shit become meat immediately and all animal bones covered by meat again. And this is a miracle you can witness for it. Just to throw some bones in your backyard and then let us see how is going to be covered by meat even though there's no meat left there it's bones you know already brother the prayer of allah prophet never went down since then those genie are eating the nicest buffet ever even the shit of the animals the prophet converted the shit into meat see the christians they are proud <laughs> jesus what he did he converted water to wine. Hmm. Which one is harder? Hmm? Hey, Christians, which one is harder? Converting water to wine or converting shit into meat? See? They are quiet. They are so quiet. Look at them. Nobody can answer. For sure. Making shit as meat. Bones, bones, covered by bones. All the bones now, that's it. Genie, they are, like since the Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad came as a mercy for the genie. By the way, are they those the same genie who rode Muhammad all night and they were naked? They are black? They rode Muhammad all day long to the point he cannot walk no more. But anyway, I like this miracle, by the way. You know, I mean, imagine. I don't know if we can trust meat these days anymore, because of what those what if those butchers they they like all all those farmers they take the poop of the cows, they don't throw them away they put them in the side they come second day they found them meat, and then they say to you for very expensive uh, like a ground beef, you know, where we are the the jinn in Noah Ark, oh there was. The story, don't you remember the story that Shaitan, he hold the, the, the tail of the donkey? Shaitan is a genie. So when when the donkey was entering the, 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 the ship of Noah, according to the Muslims, the donkey was, he cannot, he cannot move, he cannot get in. Why? Because Shaitan was holding him from his tail. We, we mentioned the story many times before, we forgot in the in Nicotia. So uh, 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 Shaitan told Noah, I will not let donkey this donkey get in unless you allowed us both in the same time to get in. And since that, you know. Mm. Shaitan, he was able to get inside uh, the ship. Yeah. Noah decided to save him. He said to himself, what, what I can do? If I don't take the donkey, if I did the, the only way, I will leave the donkey behind. So he said to himself, Okay, Shaitan, get in with it. You remember the same story when they, they explained to you how Allah, uh, you know, how, okay, what about the mice? Now, what took the mice with him? So what happened? Well, after he took the mice, Allah, he made the, the lion sneeze. He got a flu. Actually, this is how I get the, the lion, first of all, in the ship. Allah made all those beasts have a flu. <laughs> so they, they are so sick, they can't do anything. They can't harm Noah. So Noah, he grabbed them, he threw them in the ship. They have flu, you know? So after he got in the ship, Noah, he noticed that there is a mice and the mice is going to eat all his food. So he invoked Allah. Allah immediately made the lion who have a flu sneeze and a big cat came from his nose. And this is why cat was created. Hmm. Muhammad, he have an answer for anything. That's not like, you know, in the other religion. Like Muhammad, he have an answer how 
uh, the camel is created. You know, the camel was created from the uh, from the shaitan. Okay, but how? Simply, those uh, shaitans, uh, they were having illegal sex. Illegal. So Allah made their kids look like that. Yes, brother. Otherwise, any Muslim can tell us... Uh, how the camel is created from shaitan. Muhammad is the first Darwin of his time. You know, we have one donkey, his name is Darwin. Muhammad is before him. He's talking about DNA. They start having sex, illegal sex between each other, you know, in the street, in the corner, filthy, filthy, you know, filthy shaitan. And Allah, he decided to punish them, uh, you know, and he made them from uh, shaitan, sorry, they are shaitan, but he made their babies uh, have a hump and look weird, you know. Yeah, and according to Muslims, that is a miracle, too. Hmm. Any question you have about anything in life, Muhammad? He have an answer for it. Anything. Prophet of Allah, he is the best. Forget about the rest. Hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. Any Abdul? Look at this one here, this one different one. Guys, I have I have little fever. I'm not going to stay long reading, uh, but let us read this one together. The Messenger of Allah pointed with his hand toward the Yemen, and he said, "True, believe in Yemen. Toward here, between bracket, i.e., Yemen, it had a true belief and embrace Islam. Certainly, stressness and merciless are." the quality of those who are loud at the base of the tail of the camels where the two horn of Satan will appear. <laughs> Wisdom. What is the Muslim who asks me about if I'm drunk or I'm just, I don't know. Can you explain to me what this your prophet said? Hmm. Shaitan, he have two horn. Shaitan, he have two horn. You know, the sun actually, according to Muhammad, and this is a very well known astronomy fact, you know, before any fact, you know, you know it. The sun uh, come from between the two horn of Shaitan. This is why a Muslim is forbidden to pray in a certain time. Why? Because this is the time shaitan is coming out or coming in. Do you see it? None of you must choose for himself and pray at the rising or the sitting of the sun. Why? Because it rises and sit between the two horns of shaitan. And this is a very well-known scientific fact. You know, me, myself, when I went to, as I did not tell you, you know, she, she, I don't like to talk about myself. You know, the first trip, I took it from my town. 
I was bored actually, you know. And then I was driving, you know, and then I, I, I met a guy, you know, he's a taxi driver. His name is Elon. I don't know his last name, but I think he told me he is from the city of Musk. Yeah, like Elon Musk something. Uh, so he said, sir, where I will take you? Like, where I will take you? I said, you know what, take me anywhere. Uh, you know, and we were driving. And then we, oops, look, the, the, his car start flying. He didn't know what's happening. He said, sir, I do not know we are flying. Did, did you do something? I told him, yeah, I did uh, fart. And then we went all the way. And, you know, we were so high, so high. Uh, not because of hashish or drugs. No, no, no. But because we, we are high in the height. And then we look like, what the heck is that? The sun was rising from between two horn. I said to this guy, uh, I said, what's your name? He said, Elon, Elon. I forgot his name, you know, because he's not famous. You know, I know. You know. Okay. So anyway, so I said, uh, uh, listen, Elon, do you see what I see? He said, what do you see, sir? I said, don't you see what I see? He says, Allah and Christian Prince know best. I mean, come on, don't be, uh, just tell me what do you see? He looked. He says, can I tell you my true opinion? I said, uh, yeah. He said, well, first, tell me what do you see, sir? I said, I see the sun setting and rising from between the two horn of shaitan. Uh, Elon, he said, uh, uh, if I tell you what I see, you will not kill me? I said, sure. He said, okay, I think you're blind. I said, what? What are you saying, Elon? You know? Uh, actually, since then, he, he was not Elon Musk. Since then, I did hit him in his head. And since then, he's wearing a mask. That's why they call him like Elon Musk, you know? So like, bish, 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 because I could not take him trying to hide the truth. I saw it with my own eyes. The sun is coming from between the two horns of, of Shaitan. I saw it. Even I took a picture for it. Okay, well, well, let, let me let me grab my, my uh, photograph. Here we go. Okay. Because I know one of you don't want to believe unless I show you evidence. Okay. That's easy. That's easy easy. What's wrong with you? Okay, hold on. You want evidence now? Nah? Now you want evidence. Kuffar. Kuffar. What you can do with the kuffar? They don't believe unless they see. Huh. All right. So when we, you know, we were in the sky, and you, man, none of you have been in the sky before. I feel sorry for you. You know, all of you, you don't know how to go into the sky anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, you know, and this is why I have my ear infection, actually, because I was, it was the, the, the pressure, the pressure there is so high, you know. So, uh, I was like with the Elon Musk, and this is like the car, you know, the car wa was in the ground, the car was here, you know, the car, and his car looked weird, I didn't know, like, you know, he's like, have some kind of uh, weird stuff, you know, but anyway, I took it because, it, you know, he told me he worked for uh, a company, it's called Dubar, so, uh, you know, like, okay, yeah, so it looked like a turtle, something like that, you know, very weird. I said to him, man, your car looked like a spaceship. He said, it is, sir. It is, it is. I did not get what he's saying. Anyway, so we jump in and then, the, you know, the farted and then we went up and then I saw the two horn of shaitan. Let me hold on the two horn of shaitan just to show you. I, I will, this is a picture I took. This is not a drawing. This is a picture I took myself. Okay. I'm just going back on time because I got with me a, t a time machine. Yeah, yeah, I know. You might say this is a this is a nose. You know, just make two holes here that will make it a nose. No, it is not. Okay, so forget about that. All right. So now we we uh, we go back to the horn. Like we we, we we took the whole thing off. All right, it's okay. It's okay. So this is the the uh, the horn of Shaitan. Very sharp. You know, it's not straight. It's not like too much curvy. It's, you know, and then brother, uh, like I was looking like, what the heck is that? You know, and then I saw the sun, the sun, the sun. It's hard for you to see it, right? Because this is the sun. It's hard to look at it. Now don't look, please, because you might get blind. You have to have sharp eyes like mine, you know. So the sun was going between the two horn of Shaitan. And this idiot uh, Elon, who I beat him, and now since then he put a mask in his face because he want to cover the beating uh, marks. You know, you remember when Musa he hit the rock because she was seeing his underwear and the wallet and the iPhone. And Prophet Muhammad he says Musa he 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 followed the rock. He keeps saying to the rock, stop, stop, stop. You took my wallet, you took my clothing, you took my so, you know. Okay, I did the same to Elon Musk. I did beat him. I think seven times. You know, actually six and a half. No, I'm not sure really. Seven times. I hope that will not be used against me now. Seven 
And I think the last, uh, okay, number seven, I think uh, I, I, I was out of charge. So anyway, like I hit him, but it wasn't hard. So anyway, the sun, according to Prophet Muhammad, it set in between the two horn of shaitan and rise from there. Now, if you are not reading, listening, and seeing how the Prophet, he knew everything, you miss a lot. This is a clear sign of a prophethood. Prophet Muhammad is a prophet. No question. And the sun does that every day. I mean, this guy is a really idiot. In one hand, he says, the sun goes and sits in murky water. In the other hand, he says, the sun goes between the two horns of shaitan. In the other hand, he says, the, th the sun is under the throne of Allah. I mean, where the sun goes, Muhammad? Can you adopt one story? He cannot. The story changed, depend in the weather and depend on the day. Right? Do we have any Muslim? So guys, uh, uh, who, how many wanna join us? If you speak Arabic tomorrow, please we will go. Where uh, doesn't the sun set before Allah throne? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But this guy, he keeps saying different stuff, you know, and he forbid the Muslims. This is all, by the way, superstition from before Islam, that the sun come from between the two horn. If the sun come and she and uh, and uh, and uh, and it, it does rain, like sometimes you have rain and there is a sunny weather. Uh, the uh, the in the Middle East they say Satan is beating his wife. Those are stories Muhammad is copying from generations before him, and he put it in his religion. This why in the Quran, uh, you will see the Arab, even the Arab, not all of them, they are ignorant. There's a huge number of them. They are educated, and they said to Muhammad many times, this is nothing but the fairy tales of the, you know, the ancient, Asatir al and that mission in the Quran a couple of times. As you see, all those verses, 625, 831, 16, 24, 23, 38, 25, 5, 20, uh, 7, 68, etc. I mean, it's all over. So each time he recite for them a verse who he claimed that is coming from Allah, what the Arab they say to him? This is nothing but fairy tales of the ancient. It's in the front of you. And you know, the funny is, the Muslim, they say to you that the Arab at that time, they were astonished. All right? Astonished by the Quran. This is what they say to you. But as you see, the Arab are making fun of the Quran because what they want to say, this is nothing but the fairy tales. Why somebody find the Quran astonishing, he will say such a statement. All right, and look at the translation here. You know, this is the the tale of the old. What, what is that? It is the fairy tale of the old, the ancient fairy, fairy, fairy. Yeah, they try to duct tape as usual. All right, I'm not going to keep you longer. So tomorrow, guys, the link is there. Let us post the link one more time, and maybe we will uh, we will make it in the in the section in the message section. I will post the link for you guys tomorrow. I will be in Rumble, but tomorrow I will go live on Arabic. Let us type. I 
I wish I can stay longer, but as you know, <coughs> I have pain in my ear and my throat. So this is the link. If you like to join us there, even if you do not know Arabic, because there too we will go in English, but in other day. All right. So we will go there from time to time. If you have Rumble, just join us there. And and I will see you soon again. We pray to the Lord that the truth will set us free, will set the Muslim free. free. <clears throat> and I hope that tomorrow I will be able to go live and uh, my ear will be better. All right. So I want to say thank you all for being here. This is your brother, Christian Prince. I serve you humbly for today. And I hope tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you. See you soon.